Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. Today we're looking at the brand new update to the Cascado physics-based 3D character animation software. Now, we've talked about this software before in a very extensive form, you know, covering a whole lot of things that you would want to know. But today we're seeing that there's an update to it. The update is the 2020.2 beta and this comes with about three to four main updates. Now there are several bug fixes and improvements that's also been done. So I'm also going to put a link in the description so you can check that out. We'll talk about the first one, which is the quick rigging tool. There's also a simplified ballistic and also a new ballistic ghost option that is available right now. There's also improvements to the interval edit mode. And finally, there is a notification once there's a new version directly within the Cascado tool. So if you want to download this, it's available for both Windows and also Linux, but they're saying that that of Mac is coming pretty soon. So without further ado, we're going to dive directly into the software so you can take a look at how some of these things work. So before we talk about the quick rigging tool, we've previously talked about this amazing tool. So once you press the playback button for this particular demo, you can see how everything is going. So the ballistic option that they're saying right now is there is already an update to that. So at this point, it's quite easy for you to now edit these things. So it's easier than ever for you to just simply go in there and edit stuff and at the same time if you want to also take a look at some of the other you know um, sample files that they have if you go over to help go over to home you'll be able to see some of them here you can open them you can also go over to the documentation and see some stuff so if you press the playback button as well you would also notice that it's even easier than ever for you to just go in there and select any individual part and start tweaking this so we can you know punch this down raises all the way up and once we go back and press the playback animation one more time so let's get that going you can see what we have if we move this slightly up to that point press the back button press the playback you can also see that we have some pretty cool things happening like so but then let's talk about the rigging so the rigging option that is now available here is quite simple so for this one what we're going to do is to go over and you know download a very simple model from Mixamo. so this is the model we're going to get and we're going to load this one right there so before we get the model happening let's go over to file create a brand new scene and with that we're going to go back to file and now import you know a model we're not importing an animation we just need a single model and we're going to bring that model right here so previously how this was done is you go over to the object section and then you select the rigging tool so within the rigging tool is where you get to rig this object and we covered that in the previous video but you also notice that right now if you go over to object go over to quick rigging tools you now have a brand new window how this window works is very very similar to what you get while working with autodesk maya so we're going to also pop maya right here so you can see a very clear example of how this works so for maya once you have a model all you need to do is to get the hik right here which is the human ik and you, obviously you can find that if you go over to rigging go over to skeleton and then if you click on the hik you'll be able to get this window so with this here what you need to do is to click on character definition or create character definition and it's as easy as that so what you can do is double click select the path that you want so for example something like so and you notice it sort of mirrors that and that is exactly what these guys are also doing here so if you would like to rig this or let's say you would like to bind individual parts to different sections of your body you can also do that so for example you need to select the hip and drop that within the pelvis and you notice it checks that and the same thing goes for every other part of your model so you can do that individually one after the other another thing to do is to just select on one part so let's say you're done with the right section and then you can flip this go over to the text box below and type in the original name so for example let's type in right and then the mirrored version is going to be set to left click on create mirrored object and that is going to mirror the object on both sides so if you're also doing this for the left side so let's say you're done retargeting the left part of the body you can also type left on the original and then type right on the mirrored and also create a mirrored object and this goes in for every other part of the body so once it has to do with the left hand you can do that you can do all of the settings for the left hand and another thing you also need to note is you can easily click and drag the bone and drop it directly on the widget within the canvas so you can choose either ways of retargeting your object and once you're done with that you can now simply click on create prototype rig and once that is done you can now easily save your file and with all of the controls that you have 
it's very easy for you to switch them from here and you can choose whatever type of control mode that you want if you need the box one if you need a joint base one if you need the mesh mode or maybe you just want to simply work within the rigging mode you can choose any of these ones to control your object so if we select for example the box mode you can select the object and since this is working with a very standard way of selecting you can switch between w and e which is for both move and rotate so with the rotation here it's easy for you to rotate individual parts of your object you can go in there and start animating this and of course we've covered an extensive video about how you can go in to animate this and also if you're feeling excited about working with this tool or maybe you just want to get a good idea about how to get started with it there's going to be a link in the description that will take you to the extensive video that we covered and also there's going to be a link in the description that will take you to the cascadeo site where you can see how you can get started with this so this is definitely going to be about it tell me what you guys think about this beautiful animation tool in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.